Hello, I'm Runya, aka Media Adaptation, and welcome back to Mare Show Me Strike Game. Well, just got back from our vacation and, well, feeling a bit of jet lag today. So, we're gonna keep this short. Well, much like the comic itself. But, we got a lot of ground to cover. Anyway, this is the Night Parade, Part 33. What is this? Fumiko, whoa, you look beautiful. Haru, what are you doing here? And what are you wearing? Oh, this? It's my kimono for tonight. I mean, it's nowhere near as pretty as yours, but. My love. Please, you're in no condition to even make the trip halfway. Go back inside and rest. Yeah, about that. Why do I have a bad feeling that this isn't going to last. And as for uh, bloopers today, not so much. But we did kind of go off on a tangent on other things that happened during the past week, so let's look at that for a bit. Um, met a bunch of voice actors for cartoons. Oh, nice job. Uh, and then half the cast of Pinky and the Brain, or um, Animaniacs. <laughs> <laughs> Brain, uh, Pinky slash Yakko, and, and Wacko. I also met Jim Cummings, the voice of, um, <laughs> Darkwing Duck, Winnie the Pooh, Tigger, and all that. Basically your childhood, or anyone's childhood. Yeah, unless they didn't have one. True. And actually, uh, like, four actors from Steven Universe popped in. Hey! So I got to meet Zach. Uh, yeah, uh, Garnet, Pearl, uh, Connie, Estelle. and uh, yeah, and uh, Lapis, and I got a signed water bottle from Lapis. Of course, <laughs> <laughs> because reasons. She had it for sale, so I thought I'd get it. A signed water bottle. Yes, yeah, she has her own little logo thing. From uh, Lapis Lazuli. <laughs> yeah, she has that quote from the Peridot one: "Water." Seriously? You know, my unbridled <laughs> rage! I need to find, like, a clear cut or something to spray over that so it doesn't get ruined. Um, and, uh, during one of the nights, uh, they did an impromptu, uh, concert with, um, <laughs> uh, Voltaire. Ooh. Who's that again? Uh, the guy who did the night, uh, you know, the animations for the night? Uh, you know Billy and Mandy? Oh, yeah! Uh, the Brain Song. Oh! Oh, you <laughs> <laughs> Damn you! So I finally, or I haven't got a chance to read anything. And I just pulled up the page. Uh, we got two ones that came out. Um, 33 and 34. And I just got done looking over 33, and there's only, there are five pages, but only one page of dialogue. Oh, good. Have you read any of it? No. 
Okay. I'm just gonna tell you now, Runya, I am slowly losing losing interest in in Irma. <laughs> Aww. I'll still voice act. Just yeah. know I'm not gonna keep up with the comic anymore. I am. It's getting. I'm bored. Okay. Wait till something. Well. Wait till the f drama stuff goes, and whenever we get back to story beats. Or. I've been wait. I've been uh. I've been uh hyped up on waiting for uh. Dummy's dummy. The dummy's dummy to come yes. out. Yes. Yeah. I've been you waiting. A, yeah. Then you get all that stuff they done. They put up a preview. They put up a preview, Runya. <laughs> okay. I know we're still like, we didn't do the last chapter or so of that. So do you want to do that or just wait for um, the reboot? I kind of want to do like a, a massive like. A massive just redo of the uh, their original run? Yeah. That'd be neat. Well, like it or not, Irma still gets some of the best views on the channel. So. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's not going anywhere. Yeah, I can't wait for the comic to end and you have nothing to fill that void. <laughs> we will find something. We'll go back to... Uh, God, we have so many other comics we still need to do. <laughs> we never finished uh, uh, Apocalypse Horseplay. We got Glitch. We got The Glass Scientist. We got... Oh, that one about the Griffin or the Sphinx. <laughs> Once... <laughs> once, what? Well, once, once, once Irma's over, somebody's gonna recommend Homestuck to us, and we're gonna <laughs> die. Oh God! How long is that one? I know I it's don't been know. years. I've never read it, and I'm scared to start. Oh, I did get a suggestion for uh, looking for group, which is a nice one that parodied early WoW, but then massively stepped up its own story. So it's kind of. It's half parody, half serious, and it's really good. Hmm. Okay. Oh, and strangely enough, that is the first time Imiko has worn that the headband since uh, since she left. Hmm. So that's what. So that's so that's her like her ghost band yeah. thingy. Uh, I think it's a Japanese funeral thing, funeral headband. Yeah, it's like that thing that ghosts wear. In the flashback of Spirit's Bloom, she took it off and threw it at her father. So. Fuck yeah. you. <laughs> and again, due to her creature type, she cannot technically show emotion, or can't properly convey emotion. No, uh, she can. She just doesn't want to. Yeah. Well. Well, she wants to, but she's yeah. been through a lot. True. Her creature type uses uh, happy and familiarity to attack people, or mm. that she would show that emotion to her victims. So oh. her trying to uh, balance that out with someone she actually cares for is part of her internal conflict, while also trying to be the no-nonsense person her father wants her to be kind of thing. I guess being no-nonsense uh, along yeah. with what she has to do to or, or to keep her powers mm -hmm. calm is... <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a good, it's a good combination. Mm -hmm. People who at the place and the travel agency aren't allowed to call each people other. People who at the place. People who at the place. The people at the airport were are not allowed to talk to travel agents. So what? basically, it is some bullshit. So basically, I turned my phone up to speaker and leaned as close as I could to them so they could yell at each other. So it had finally worked, but on the way back, uh, they uh, the they lost my seat number, but thankfully someone um. Uh, let me switch with them. Because I also travel with my mom. Aww. Yeah. How did you get those two confused? It has been a while. And besides, they look identical whenever they do the close-ups, so... Well, of course they're identical. They're twins! I know! So, yes, how could I possibly get them confused? And how many times have you confused uh, the Irma twins? The Irma twins are easy to get confused because they're both assholes. <laughs> Yeah, they're both exactly the same. <laughs> Iris and Lily have different personalities. The twins are just like two sides we're the of the same, same coin. Per yeah, uh, we're the same person, but with our palette swapped. <laughs> True. Uh, speaking of that, we still gotta get to their comic one of these days. Oh boy. Their first day of actual school. I can voice school. act the entire thing. Heck yeah! Let's go. Let's go indeed. Okay, morbid curiosity. Aside from Paris. Is there any other male characters besides the occasional um, grandpa in all of um, <laughs> Dummy's Dummy? Um, or in Glitch? Oh. Damn it. There, there is, yeah. 
glitch bit. There's the other guy. Yeah, I have. Who gets possessed? Yeah, I get Cadwall and then get. Yeah, maybe one or two, but those are almost both primarily female-driven things. They're yeah. still incredibly well done, but. Yeah. There's a majority uh, the of work that's on you and not me. The dummy's dummy. Uh. I really, I, I, I was right about his name, by the way. Yes, his name's I know. <laughs> I was right about his name. I was fucking right. Mm -hmm. I'm a genius. I just want to tell everyone just how much better I am than you. <laughs> Do a comparison track later. And this is where yeah. he fucked up on this line and that line. And yes. A this bunch is where of he those fucked up on this yeah. line. This is where he fucked up on that line. This okay. is where he made Paris look terrible. <laughs> um... That and some of the early narration ones are all done in a single take. Yeah. I didn't think Never it was do like... voice acting in a single take, you poor, insolent fool. But it makes it so much faster. Yeah, but it makes it <laughs> suck. I don't oh. care if it gets things out fast. I only had 200 viewers time. back then. No one cared that it sucked. <laughs> It should have made you push it to be better th than ever. The fact that you had less viewers ma should have made you put in more work, and instead you put in less, you goddamn dummy. <laughs> You're more of a dummy than the dummy of the dummy's dummy. <sighs> you dummy. No, no, yeah, I'm not even... I'm, I was trying to go into You're a Paris, but I am in no voice acting to do that yet. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> I can go into Stolas easy, but that's beside the point. Well, that's because Stolas is... Stolas. Oh, uh, did you see the new one? Yes. <laughs> Do not piss <laughs> off Stolas. <laughs> because you, my precious little bitch boy, are tripping <laughs> balls. <laughs> <laughs> that was such a good sequence. I, I, the, the entire episode was awesome. I like how... Moxie was the one saying that he was having a bad trip in his song when it was Blitz who was having the bad trip. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that about does it for this video. Again, it's going to be rather short. And we're going to try to get the next volume out well, as soon as we can. Again, trying to make sure everyone is still feeling better. But hopefully we'll get more about that. And we still got a bunch of videos to re-upload. And... Well, we'll see what we can do. Anyway, as always, I'm Runya. Everybody take life in moderation. Weep not for children, for life is this way. Murdering beauty and passion. Hush now, dear children.